Welcome to Positive Parenting. My name is Irene Atia and I'm a Christian counsellor. Today we're going to talk about personalities and parenting by personalities. We've spoken about two personality types already, popular personality types, those that are really outgoing, fun-loving, enjoy being the centre of the crowd. And we've also spoken about powerful personality types, those natural born leaders that get into an environment and know how to take charge and make correct decisions. It's really important that we still remember that this is not about labelling our child or expecting certain behaviours from them, rather gaining a greater understanding of who they are as an individual and understanding that some of the things that they do aren't to frustrate or annoy us or get on our nerves, they're simply part of their personality type. And accepting that, and accepting that our children have unique and individual personality types, which sometimes may be a blend of more than one personality type, allows us to more effectively parent them, allows us to give them, give them more love, more nourishment, more understanding, of, and more acceptance of who they are. And in return, they will learn to love themselves and accept themselves and be healthier, happier individuals and healthier adults in healthier relationships. So today we want to talk about the precise personality type. And this personality type aims for perfection. They're organised, they have high goals and high standards. They analyse very deeply. They're usually academics and they're usually people who are quite studious because of their depth of thinking and their desire to achieve perfection. And usually these kids also have weaknesses that lie sometimes beneath the surface. Unlike other children with other personality types, sometimes precise personality types can be seen as the perfect child, but that's far from true. They're just as imperfect and just as perfect as any other personality type. Their weaknesses include the fact that they can easily get depressed, they can easily become too analytical about a particular situation. So where, for example, you have a child who comes home and speaks to you about the fact that his teacher may have critiqued a piece of work that he or she has done, and they analyse and overanalyse and they rethink their whole process of doing that work, it's likely that you have a precise personality type as your child. They also sometimes spend too much preparing, but they don't always get too much done. They're very focused on the detail and they can tend to remember the negatives and it takes a lot of work to help precise personality types, especially children, to remember the positives. And sometimes they can be quite suspicious of others. But they, like other personality types, have emotional needs and when those emotional needs are unmet, their fears and, and, and the things that bother them tend to increase. One of their emotional needs and one of the things that we need to know about precise personality types is that they're often sensitive children that need a reassurance and they need understanding and empathy from us about their emotions. They need, us, they need us to know that what they feel and what they think is real for them and they need us to convey that to them as parents. They need support. They also need space to think and process things and oftentimes these children actually need silence in their life where they can go through their analytical process to achieve a solution to whatever issue they may be going through. They fear that no one will understand how they really feel. And because they have that fear, it is paramount that parents of precise children convey to them empathy and understanding for their emotions. They're fearful of making a mistake. And that's why from a very young age, a parent of a precise child needs to make space for their child to make mistakes and rather than critique their mistakes, help them overcome them and see that a mistake is a learning opportunity rather than something for them to fall into a depressive mode about. They also fear having to compromise standards. They usually want to achieve the very best thing possible. And sometimes when they're asked to do something that's less than perfect, they struggle with that. And again, that's another reason why as parents we need to provide them opportunities as young children especially to get messy, to have fun, to relax. And when we find that they have difficulty in doing that, rather than making it an issue for them, we need to just understand and empathise with their feelings. It's really important for precise children to have routines. They thrive in routines and schedules when they know what's coming and what to expect and what's going to happen next in their life. They like the repetitiveness and the knowledge of the safety that they feel when there is a routine in their life. 
but oftentimes they also need to be taught assertiveness. And that's one thing where role playing as a parent comes in very handy. Where as a parent, I can role play with my child what it would be like for them to be in a certain situation and help them in a safe, loving environment with me explain and express themselves in a healthy way. They also need to know that they're okay. It's okay for them to feel this way about certain things and to analyze things very deeply. And then we will go with that journey with them and we will allow them because out of that deep analytical thinking often comes great innovative ideas in life. We need to learn to be really good listeners to our precise children because they often have little to say, but the little that they do have to say carries volumes of information. And it's really important that with the precise personality, we learn to be gentle and uh, give affection in a, in a kind and gentle way rather than the rough and tumble that we, we may need to do with a popular personality type. It's really important that we ensure that we're honest and accurate with precise children because honesty to them is very important. If you'd rather only tell them half a story, it's probably better not to tell it at all to a precise child because they'll probably think it through until they get to the bottom of it. And it's also important to not insist on quick, decisive action from a precise child. Precise personalities need time to think things over. And if we provide that environment and we allow for our precise children to grow and accept themselves in this way, they will become healthy, thriving, precise personalities and adults who can analyze the world around them and come up with great solutions. Thank you for joining me today. Yeah.